Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Sergi and we are going to take up a fun question today from Pathfinder Solution Series. Uh, this is Newton's Laws of Motion and object to seven question. So this generally troubles the students who go by conventional way of solving the problem using free body diagram of each and every part of this particular thing and uh, using calculus. So we'll try to take an alternative way and a simplistic solution. Okay, so let's go with the formal wording of the question. A small metal ball is being pulled gradually on a fixed frictionless hemisphere as shown in the figure. Okay, so this hemisphere is fixed and this ball is being pulled using a pulley system, as you can see, right? Uh, gradually means this entire thing is being pulled very slowly. Radio of the ball and that of the pulley are much smaller than that of the sphere. So these two are very small. As the ball slides from bottom to the position close to the top of the hemisphere, how do the magnitudes of the pulling force F and contact force capital R between the ball and the hemisphere change? Okay, so there has, he has given four possible changes that happen to the pulling force F and the normal reaction force he is calling in this question as capital R. Okay, so have a fair try and then come back for the solution that I'm going to give using Lamy's theorem. Okay, so let's move ahead. So a lot of things are on the board, just follow my lead where I'm pointing to and uh, listen to my explanation very carefully, okay? So I have drawn the free body diagram of this particular ball at any arbitrary position, right? And the pulling force F is this way. And the uh, uh, capital R, which is the normal reaction would be normal to this uh, hemispherical surface and Mg is the weight of that particular thing. Since this is being pulled very gradually, that means at every new instant, the equilibrium of these forces should be a valid one, okay, right? So that means the vector sum of this green, uh, red, and the white vectors should be zero, which means the R, F, and Mg vectors form a triangle, okay? So, uh, and if I draw another geometric triangle, just imagine the uh, length of the thread on this side, here is the pulley, imagine there is a pulley here, and this red color length is, let's say, L, and there is a a connection between uh, the pulley and the center of the hemisphere. Just imagine there is a line drawn. This distance never changes, right? So let's call that as R plus H, where H is the height of the pulley above this point. So this total length should be R plus H. And R, small r, is being used for the radius of the hemisphere. So there is another triangle that you could see, which is formed uh, as this point moves, uh, the, this length of the triangle remains same and this length say, remains same, but just this red colored length shortens. I have marked some angles for my convenience in this triangle, which I'll use in the vector triangle, okay? So the one which is opposite to this red side is the red colored alpha, the green ones opposite is beta, and this white one is the gamma, okay? So there's a triangle here. Now, you could clearly see that in this particular vector triangle, if this is gamma, this should be 180 minus gamma, right? And one very important thing to note is that this, this force and this R are not 90 degrees. Remember, R is normal, but F is not tangential. It's just a line joining this ball to the topmost point, need not be a tangent. Okay, so this should be 180 minus gamma that I have written here. Similarly, in terms of alpha and beta, I could write the supplementary angles in this particular uh, vector triangle. So for this, Lamy's theorem states that the force divided by sine of the opposite angle should be a proportional value. Okay, so mg divided by sine of this angle, f divided by the sine of the opposite red colored angle, and capital R divided by sine of this should be equal. This is the Lamy's theorem. Okay. But also from a geometric triangle, that is your properties of triangle, just whatever dotted triangle is here, I brought it down so that I can write those letters here, L, R plus H and R. Again, sign rule can be written in this particular fashion. You could see from comparison from here to here, the denominators are same as these because sine of 180 minus theta is sine theta. So you can divide these two equations uh, and remove these angle proportionalities and you would be able to write that the mg divided by r plus h, right? This mg to whichever side this is parallel, that one, capital F is parallel to uh, this red dotted line, therefore F by L, and capital R is parallel to the small r, that ratio you'll end up getting as a proportionality. Now, just imagine this ball slightly moves on this particular thing. This triangle changes only with this red colored one. So this cap Mg, which is a constant vector, and this R plus H, which is the distance between the top of the pulley and to the center, this is a constant, right? So therefore, this ratio is a constant, which tells you that these two ratios are also constant. 
which means that as we pull, the small l decreases. You could see this ball goes closer to the top, small l decreases. To keep this ratio constant, capital F also should decrease. Not only that, this as we pull, the small r remains the same. This length never changes. That's the radius. Therefore, capital R should remain the same. So using this nice little Lamy's theorem without using any calculus, we are able to ascertain that the value of the pulling force decreases, but value of the normal reaction remains the same. So if you go back to the previous uh, uh, page to mark the solution, let's let's go there. So the required answer is F decreases and capital R remains unchanged. I hope you have liked this video. There are many more Pathfinder solutions that are there in a playlist. Link of that playlist is in the description below. Please explore that. Along with that, there are other uh, workout series of Olympiad, AITS Select Series and Resolve Series. All the descriptions are mentioned in that particular uh, playlist. So please make sure you go through, explore them. And in case you have liked this video, please do like it. Uh, liked videos get shared with the audience uh, much more. And also please do share this video in your uh, student groups and communities so that I end up getting more and more visibility, right? Thank you for staying with me and see you in the next video.